I can't believe a melee character can be that tonky. I was grinding hard in the last two days while I was completing my whole atlas, gathered all the white stones and done the few bosses in the meantime. What's up guys? Bridget here. Since we met last time, I got many upgrades to the build and farmed currency as well to able to invest more into the character to able to tank the uber version of the bosses. Let's take a look on the items. I got a new weapon. It's a very, very big upgrade. Almost 800 fist DPS sundering axe base. I purchased the base for 80 chaos with the fractured attack speed and then started spamming alteration and augments till I hit the flaring fizz roll. As you can see even the flaring got a pretty huge roll as well. But sadly the axe when I was regard it, it had a life on kill suffix. And we can't have the suffixes because, because we was needed to use the crafted modifier and the fizz damage over time multiplier craft, right? So I needed to scour the whole thing. I was used, uh, prefixes cannot be changed, scoured, so I got two mod axe with attack speed and the flaring mod. This is when we was done. So that was two divine. Then I crafted and have up to three crafted modifiers. That was also two divine. So totally this axe costed me around uh, almost five divine. Okay, almost five divine to make. And if you searching for exactly the same axe in the trade site, you will wonder this is 25 divine minimum. Okay, and also guys, don't forget, we got the weapon enchantment in this league, trigger level 10, shock ground on hit. This means we can shock anything with 50% increased damage taken. That's pretty huge for a single target increase. And this is free, guys. It's almost, almost cost nothing. So this is just pure damage increase. There's a physical damage increase modifier as well. Why I'm not using that? That's a good question, by the way. So the reason is why I'm not using it, because even the top rolled one will not beat the showground on hit. And uh, this will help you inflict pretty big bleeds on the target pretty often. This is how I made it. The axe, obviously, when I will make the guide for it, for this build, I will include in the POB in the notes section how you can craft this exactly axe. Also, you see a uh, plus one to level socketed milligram. So sadly, I tried to slam, you know, with an exalted, but we got this pretty bad modifier. This is not doing anything. And then the next surprising thing happened. I tried to just five link it. Okay, just five link it the weapon, but I got a six link under eight fusings. So that was pretty cool. So now in the weapon we can use all the war cries, Indimediating cry, Onsen strike cry, Urgent orders, Enduring cry, Seismic cry, and more duration as well. The reason is why we using, by the way, the Onsen strike cry. So this is exerting or attack, right? So we can have a four war cry that exerting or attacks. So because we using, uh, what is it, uh, overexertion support, this uh, 4 Warcry will increase our damage by significantly, almost 70% more damage. Alone when you all your like this, so you can do, you need to do this, you can see many Warcrys going on. So yeah, this is a very big damage increase if you using that much Warcry. Obviously this is becoming much more piano play style, right? Uh, sadly, I can do about anything. Sadly, you can't even automotate things because you will not getting the Warcry effects. We can't automotate, so you need to press every often on boss fights, only on boss fights, guys. So why you was mapping? By the way, again, you need just use the enduring cry. Okay, just enduring crying every few seconds. See, even even if you not enduring cry every five seconds, you can like every ten second. Okay, so. This will keep you top on the map and so on. So don't worry about too much and don't you don't need to spam anywhere your uh, war cries. Or, or maybe intimidating cry as well because look at this in intimidating cry it gives you so much at, uh, movement speed. Just look at this how fast we can run under the effect of the intimidating cry. But of course uh, this is also have 100% uptime if you if you pressing it every time. See then. As you can see now, we, yes, we have a six linked lighting coil. First things first, the reason is why we're using lighting coil. Because guys, you can't beat this body armor. I'm sorry, there is no way you will craft a better body armor than this one. If we're talking about damage reduction. Because 
50%, this is almost 50% physical damage reduction because we're taking physical damage from hits as lightning. And we will, by the way, we will have 90% maximum res. I think if I using my uh, ancestral cry, I have exactly 90%. Uh, so this is also can have 100% uptime, but with the end game POB, by the way, we will have 90% all the time without the ancestral cry. So that will, that uh, lightning damage will be reduced pretty significantly when we uh, take physical damage. And you have to know Shaper Slam, Uber Cirrus Meteor, this is all pretty hard hitting physical uh, spells. Uh, so the Shaper Slam is an attack, sorry, but uh, the Uber Cirrus Meteor is a hard hitting spell physical damage. So this is why you need to cap your suppression. Yes, six link lightning coil pretty important and I got finally the six link so and I using right now awaken me the physical damage support this was just one divine and uh, yes that was that was a pretty good investment I would say because last night I was able to five link uh, six link it at the end of the stream so yeah that was a pretty you know high moment <laughs> so yep uh, the next one is suppression yes so guys suppression let me tell you, the suppression is super important. I can't say uh, anything more. That's how important. Trust me, everything in this game that you're dying, it's a spell. Even the tornadoes, you know, you click on the little ore thingy in map and it's uh, summon tornadoes. That's a spell as well. I can just AFK in the storms pretty easily and and i'm not taking like 500 not 500 100 damage okay because my enduring cry will keep me up the life so it's not a big problem for us uh so yes suppression so we're getting suppression from here from here obviously and from here okay this helmet by the way is a little bit insane i would say because it's a tier one life and uh, tier 1 suppression as well and the top roll as well so this helmet is a pretty good one and we have a physical damage taken from hits as fire damage but obviously as you can see i'm missing the ceiling exact buff and i will get the vulnerability for what is it vulnerability uh, here with vulnerability curse effectiveness obviously but i did not spend time and currency to get the correct uh, implicits now let's talk uh, uh, let's take a look on the tree because the suppression as well coming from here so mage bane obviously uh, reflexes evasion mastery and the chance to suppress spell damage if equipped helmet body armor gloves and boots all have evasion rating we have evasion 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 everywhere e even here evasion as well so this is free as well and obviously the anthrach and this small here but when i'm getting the glove uh, glove implicit from eater of words i can drop this one so you either get like more hp or something like that but uh, this is uh, only the future problem not right now so suppression this is how we getting the suppression kept now also let me show you some very very interesting javel and how you can make it this look at this so it has life physical damage over time multiplier and yes you reading right plus two percent to maximum fire resistance so i was crafted this one and wait guys there is another one here as well five percent life seven percent physical damage over time plus two maximum fire res as well this was a fracture this uh, Java costed me one divine okay one divine alone the base and i just reforged i just uh, you know you can reforge pretty easily by the way these gems uh, Java, sorry i just reforge with life yes reforge with life and that's it and i hit this javel after i don't know like 10 tries yes 10 tries this was taking a little more because i was just testing the the theory how i can you know craft it but uh i will i will not suggest this one this is this was i i guys i know i was super lucky with this one because after i done this one i checked i honestly it's much better just go to take uh, and buy a lottery ticket okay guys so so i think this will be the way how we can craft this javel pretty easily because you just buying the base like the the maximum fire resistance fracture 
and then reforge life till you hit the physical damage over time multi and uh, if you have an open prefix because the fire resistance and the damage over time multi is a suffix you can slam with the exalted well i had an open uh, prefix but sadly i not hit anything lighting damage is not doing anything here as well uh, attack speed with staves that's also pretty bad one sadly but it is what it is right guys so there is no better uh, way right now to improve the beard because that would cost so much and it would be unreasonable as well so yeah i planning to use four more of this i think no no just we need just three more yes three more and the re, uh, the way we are fitting obviously cluster jewels that's the easiest way and uh, there is a socket here as well because the end game version by the way let's talk about this a little bit end game version will have 100 percent suppression without this whole section and we will uh, ailment immunity obviously because without it what are you doing even in a uber fight right so this is the goal right now and uh, by the way so we have the founds for it look at this guys by the way uh, we have 22 divine so far why we was spend uh, five uh, on this one you know one divine on the on the javel base crafted a little bit so yeah uh, oh craft uh, yes uh, we got by the way uh, stygian wise as well look at this this is a pretty good one as you can see so it has quality on the resistances so this is why this has a 36 percent chaos res. Uh, i was just using fire as a uh, fire resist essence on this one till i hit something like this this was a pretty quick as well so i would say it was lucky but obviously it can be better because and also it needs to be better because kept on the chaos resistance side at all so it's a pretty uh, important to cap your chaos resistance obviously and right now only chaos uh, damage uh, in the game most of the time the poison that's the most annoying but i found the solution against this one and that's that's it just use a life flask with immune to poison why uh, if you had poison on you and that's it so you have 14 second free time from the poison and because you're killing you uh, refreshing this buff as well and you know refilling your flask as well this is how you can deal oh yes and the most important question i got uh, how you deal chill on this build right so it's super annoying by the way guys i agree with that so the way you can deal pretty easy just take this mastery here cannot be chilled by at maximum frenzy charges and the reason is why i'm not taking right now because i was just uh, recording the uber elder fight and the other boss fights and i didn't need it and obviously in the boss fight you can't reach maximum frenzy charges because there is nothing else just the boss right so there was uh, this was uh, would uh, just a waste but you can allocate this way so the you taking the discipline of slaughter till this one and taking the the ma um, charge mastery and you done and you will not have to uh, worry about the chill effect at all because uh, you using you know automotation support where is it uh, automotation and blood rage blood rage will give you you know frenzy charges but also the discipline of slaughter gives you eight percent chance to gain a frenzy charge on kill so either if you're not using blood rage you can use just like that uh, yes this is how you can deal pretty easily the, the chill effect obviously you need to take the 100 percent chance to avoid being frozen because yes you, you still can have uh, be frozen if you not have this one obviously the end game version will fix this problem without uh, any issues so we can use the real big uh, damage reduction like the soul of lunaris or the soul of solaris for mapping because mapping soul of solaris is a pretty good one if you want to do crit maps that has high critical chance and crit multiplier and i i can already tell you the tier 17 has as well so it's a pretty annoying thing to deal so this is the best way to deal with it okay so right now i'm using so then the soul of the brian king you know for the, the avoid being frozen because by the way we stun immune because of the unwavering stance guys so i was tried to drop this one because i i take a look on the pob and i saw my stun threshold was pretty big 
right? So te in theory, I couldn't be stunned, but sadly, sometimes when I chunking so hard, like, you know, I was farming expedition. So it was needed to be get stun immunity. So unwavering stance is the only way. So there is no way you dropping this. So only we using the blanking now, avoid being frozen and that's it. And we using Soul of Garukan reduce shock effect on you. So the reason is why, because many things can shock you in this game. And yeah, this is the easiest way to deal it. Even if you, if you have the uh, suffix for it, you can craft shock effect reduce uh, on the ring. So you will not get shocked. But even with the Soul of Garukan, you get like... 7% check, 6% check, so that's not too big, right? So you, if you dying because of that, then that's not, not because of the sh shock effect, because maybe you're doing super hard maps or super dangerous modifiers. We changed a few uh, things in the links. So first things first, uh, so we're still using ground slam of earth shaking and the chains to bleed, overexertion support, this is a new one, and we're using cruelty, Brutality support and awaken melee physical damage support. So, and you can see here, we're not using uh, anymore Fortify. Because Fortify said it's a pretty bad link, but I needed to get Fortify in the beard, right? Because that's just 20% less damage taken from hits. So that's that's how you make the beard more tonkier than than any any others. So we're taking this whole veil, Steed Fest, and taking the Fortify Master immediately hits Fortify you. And that's it. And you're taking this up here because this will increase the Fortify duration to 11 seconds. Why we need this one, you asking, right? So you have to know when Cirrus starting casting, you know, the Meteor, that's 5 seconds. And your, uh, if you're not using this wheel, just using the Fortify uh, support jump, then it will drop and you will die. Okay, guys. So this is this with this, you can easily keep up the fortification stacks and survive the Uberserus Meteor. Uh, but obviously, I will talk about this later more when uh, when we at the Uber bosses. A few words about the flask. We using two life flask. Yes, going old school. Okay. Honestly, I was I was thinking about triple life flask, but right now we only using. Uh, Two life flask, one for the bleed immunity and corrupted blood, and we using immunity for poison. So this is why I'm using these two, and we using uh, quick silver, obviously an onslaught flask, and a uh, granite flask, and uh, that's it. That was a pretty long journey, guys. So you have to know, I played two days, 21 hours when I was making the video. That's a pretty long time. And I was streaming like 16 hours, 14 hours or even more. So yeah, I was playing super hard, I like grinding because I want to push out, you know, the Uber version of this one. And I think we found something, so we will uh, use it. But for now, that's for it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and... Uh, and I would like to say thank you for my Patreons for supporting me. So thanks again, guys. If you have any question, please leave a comment below or you can find me on twitch.tv slash 2 Thanks for watching. I was Pidget. See you next time.